A new troop, the Dragon Rider, is coming to Clash of Clans. Let's tell you everything you need to know. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. This update is very much geared towards A. In Sneak Peek 1, we told you about the new defensive levels, which could defend A, as well as new levels for the Dragon Balloon and E-Dragon. Yesterday, we told you all about the new Rocket Balloon, and we have another new troop. Why do I have a Town Hall 13 loaded up on the developer build, you ask? That is because your new troop, the Dragon Rider, is unlocked at Town Hall 13. Let's go! 6 million elixir with an 11 day build time to get that brand new barracks we seen on day one. So let's go ahead and do this. I honestly think the artwork in this update is the best I have ever seen. There is the rocket balloon. I explained the mechanics and best use cases yesterday. I will link you across to that video at the end of this one if you missed it. But the Dragon Rider, level 1 at Town Hall 13 and Supercell, they are being so good to us in this update. Yes, none of the troops are updated. This is the developer build, not my actual account. But you can upgrade to level 2 at Town Hall 13 as well. How amazing is that? However, in order to get that maximum level, level 3, that is where Town Hall 14 is required. Real quick, just so you know how much it's going to cost you to upgrade across the different levels, 17.5 million elixir to get to the maximum level. Let's compare stats to other troops and then show you gameplay. My immediate thoughts with regards to the Dragon Rider are to compare them with the regular dragons. Important to note is it is a defense targeting troop with 25 housing space. So it is in the middle of the regular dragon at 20 and the E-dragon at 30. I will show gameplay comparing these specifically, but in comparison to the regular dragon, the dragon rider has an extra 50 damage per second alongside the damage when destroyed, an extra 400 hit points and a slightly faster movement speed. The fact that it is defense targeting is also a bonus. When we compare it to the E-dragon, Dragon, it still does more damage per second and more damage when destroyed, including more hit points and it's less housing space. But remember, this can only attack one building at a time, whereas the E-Drag can chain through numerous of them, so I still think the E-Drag will be better. Let's show the Dragon Rider first in isolation before we start comparing other troops. It flies right on past the non-defensive buildings and it attacks similar to the baby dragon rather than the others and if we look at the shadow underneath it appears to have around about a three tile range that is important balloons would be even more vulnerable going further ahead maybe even minions would go ahead of the dragon rider but the grand warden would hold back a little bit more so positives and negatives but just something to be aware of here is an example clearly showing the advantage of the Dragon Rider's range. Even though the scattershot covers the front of the air defense, it could not fire at them initially. But there's a disadvantage on this replay as well. Since the Dragon Riders only attack defenses, it's easier as a defending player to build your base so that they will move and clump together towards a defense. It's not like dragons where they attack non-defensive buildings. So that again is something to be aware of. Splash could be an issue for you. Let's do a quick comparison versus the dragon. So dragon rider to the left, regular dragon to the right. Again, these are in isolation, so you can easily see the difference. Against a realistic base, things might be different. For example, the dragon would be getting caught up on non-defensive buildings, so we're also not showcasing one of the advantages of the dragon rider. But as you can see, the regular dragon is not going to make it through. It went down, and that is because of the extra damage and hit points of the dragon rider. Watching it crash to the ground at the end of that last replay, I want to take a closer look at the death damage, because what I'm thinking is due to the dragon rider's range, it's going to be really tough for it to do anything. 900 death damage, but it's out of range. I can't think of many situations where that will be helpful. Maybe defending clan castle troops? Let me know if you've got any ideas. I'm adding this bit here after recording a lot more of the video, but anyways, I stand corrected. If the dragon is already flying over a building and then you activate it, such as the town hall, check this out for being effective with the death damage. The town hall will chip away at the dragon and although it gets close, the dragon will actually go down and take out the town hall 
with the death damage. It's useful after all. I will say that one of my favorite parts of sneak peeks is the speculation of strategy from you guys in the comments. As one person trying to come up with the best use cases, it can be difficult, but once this is in the hands of millions of players, if there's any major discoveries, I will bring those to you. So be sure to subscribe in order to see those. And if you just enjoy my videos, E-Drag is five extra housing space. It can chain through the buildings and at least the death damage for it is somewhat useful as well. Let's slot in my thoughts of the Dragon Rider on defense at this stage in the video. I do actually think it's going to be useful, but for one town hall level in particular, and that is town hall eight, where you have 25 clan castle troop capacity. Sometimes we see a dragon and a balloon at this level. I think the dragon rider would be better with its greater damage and hit points. I think once you get past that and there's 30 housing space, I would rather take something else. In the current meta, tends to be tank style CCs, so a hound or ice golems. We've gone over stats, comparisons, and basic mechanics. There's one other thing I want to highlight before we go on to a couple of attack strategies, and that is just to make you aware, since it's defense targeting, unlike the Dragon and E-Dragon, it will not fight back. So clan castle troops, enemy heroes, will just slowly chip away at them. And it means, depending on the situation, this could be a disadvantage because you're going to have to have something else to take them out. Another thing to bear in mind is even if all of the defenses are destroyed and the Dragon Rider can start to fight back against clan castle troops or air skellies, it is single targeting. So it is not going to do splash damage, such as the regular dragon or baby dragon. Just one more thing for you to be aware of. I know what you're thinking. Try and use the dragon rider in a mass dragon rider attack. And I will try that, but I think one of its specialties is tanking for a wizard tower in the second layer because it has a lot of hit points. It can tank all day long. An ice golem could not get there because of the wall. So maybe the dragon rider could be really cool for a drag bat or yeti bat style attack. Let's give this a shot. I do think the dragon riders could work as part of a mass attack. I honestly have not found them to be as good as the dragons and the e-dragons. I think it has to be paired with some sort of queen charge and just using them to flush out the defenses. Now, unless base building changes, which let's be honest, after this update, it will, you absolutely want to pick off air defense with rocket balloons. So let's start at the bottom. Let's take out this one. Two rocket balloons, remember from yesterday's video, will get you that. Let's actually use a baby dragon as well. And let's go with two rocket balloons for this one. Then I'm going to send my queen into an another let's go with this one there's not a lot of dps down here so we can actually yet let the unicorn just keep the queen alive let's go with a wall breaker and let's go with the king up top with a wizard and i'll probably just send the rc in for that one once the queen takes down this air defense i can send in my lonely coco loon i would like to take some for the dragon riders as well but to be honest with you it's it's a, it's a balance of getting, you know, the right amount of troops, particularly with the rocket loons. They take up eight housing space. It is a lot more. So let's see where the queen charges. I think I'm going to freeze the expo in a second. Let's do that now. And king's ability will be used shortly, but I can just let the automatic ability do that. I'm actually going to turn the RC invisible. Woo, just about worked. Okay, let's rage the queen again. Let's turn the RC invisible again. She can get that scatter shot. Expo. Oh, she nearly got the queen. She's gone and made herself vulnerable. Okay, let's start with the dragon riders down the bottom with the grand warden. You know what? Look at that king. He is tanked and took out the entire base. What a legend around the outside. Okay, let's go with the rage. Two headhunters moving in here. And I think I want to use this warden ability. Oh, more warden move up. Oh, I lost a couple of dragon riders in the center there. Uh, let's go with the earthquake. They've actually taken that down and the sweeper pushes them away. Let's freeze the sweeper and the queen at the same time. Missed the sweeper, typical. We've actually got some buildings on the outside. That is the downfall of the dragon riders. Defense targeting. They do not necessarily clean up and they've kind of got caught on this defensive ring around the outside of the base. So let's see how they do. We've still got a few of them. Let's use our queen ability whilst the enemy queen locks on so I don't lose too much health. Dragon Riders struggling to get through the defenses, I would say here. You can see how splash damage really is impacting them because they tend to clump together. But fortunately, 
I think we've got this. This one archer is OP to the side of the base. I think the dragon riders will be good, but I don't think they'll necessarily be good as dragons in the center because they'll miss certain buildings, they'll clump up, and they just were a little bit squishy in the middle. I know they have a lot of hit points, but I think it's because they clump up and are susceptible to splash damage. I would pair them with a queen charge. That's my recommendation. But there you are, my friends. That's everything you need to know about the Dragon Rider. If you want to know about the Rocket Balloon, I did that yesterday. It's right here alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video.